Item Number SCP-132 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures All instances of SCP-132 are to be cataloged and etched with an appropriate designating mark. SCP-132 is to be stored at containment sector when not in use. After Incident 132-01, no instances of SCP-132 are to leave Containment Area 23 without approval by the Sector Director. Following the incident detailed in Addendum 03, standard classification procedures are reinstated on SCP-132. Description SCP-132 takes the form of a series of glass tetrahedrons, each with a side length of 10.3 centimeters. Each instance of SCP-132 appears to contain a patch of desert sand. Occasionally, scorpions and other desert creatures enter the confines of an instance of SCP-132, as if it were a continuous piece of desert. Creatures within SCP-132 have shown no awareness of the existence of anything outside of the object, and attempts to influence the area within SCP-132 have failed. Review of observed animal life within SCP-132 has proven inconsistent. Clusters of contiguous instances have been internally consistent and have been confirmed to display areas of every major desert. No method of pinpointing exact locations has been discovered. Staff observing SCP-132 are advised to be on the lookout for any defining features that could aid in this endeavor. Test Log SCP-132 Procedure SCP-132-01 rotated and placed on an upper side. Result no apparent change in SCP-132-01. Procedure SCP-132-01 inverted and placed in a cradle. Result No apparent change in SCP-132-01. Procedure SCP-132-01 shaken vigorously. Result A few grains of sand in SCP-132-01 shift as though picked up by a light wind. Procedure SCP-132-01 shaken vigorously. Result: No apparent change in SCP-132-01. Note: I guess it was just the wind. Better to be sure anyway. Dr. Peterson. Procedure: A corner of SCP-132-01 is filed for several strokes. Result: The filed corner is scuffed in a consistent manner to normal glass. Procedure: Heat is applied to the side of SCP-132-01 with a blowtorch. Result: Heated side melts and a sizable hole is cut in SCP-132-01. Desert scene remains. Note: I brought it around in there after it cooled and only felt glass. It would appear that SCP-132 only shows an illusionary desert. I suppose it could be showing a real place, but I have no idea how we could confirm this, or locate where that may be. Dr. Peterson. Incident Log 13201. Dr. R, currently stationed at Area R reports knocking SCP-13271 off her desk. Upon impact with the ground, SCP-13271 shattered, and the office of Dr. R was buffeted by extreme winds. Other owners of instances of SCP-132 confirm that the area shown by SCP-13271 and adjoining instances was experiencing a sandstorm. Addendum 132-01 Careful observation of SCP-132 has found that many instances are contiguous, the largest section composed of 16 different instances. Speculation over the existence of additional unsecured instances has been raised. Addendum 132-02 Administration has deemed the possible risk of unsecured instances of SCP-132 existing to be negligible and set retrieval efforts to lowest priority. Keywords relating to SCP-132 have been added to routine search protocols. Addendum 132-03 A large box arrived for Dr. Richardson at his home with a return address of a Foundation front. No faculty associated with the front organization report any association with said box, and it does not appear on any of its records. Inside were 37 uncatalogued instances of SCP-132. Twelve were contiguous with previously documented instances of SCP-132, and three instances which had no known shared edges were brought into contiguity. Of particular note were 18 instances which appear to display Martian soil, 13 of which were found to be contiguous. Addendum 13204 
At Dr. L's suggestion, notes were taken over a year on the light cycle of SCP-132 clusters. Although imprecise, the Foundation now has a rough set of coordinates for various SCP-132 viewing locations. No missions need to be sent to confirm these locations, but teams passing near are encouraged to assist Dr. Peterson in pinpointing coordinates. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-131, The iPods, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.